happening later on today. President Joe Biden will be traveling to Hawaii as the search and rescue and recovery efforts continue following those devastating wildfires. Yes, and the trip does not come without some criticism from not only Republicans, but of the people who live there. NBC's Bree Jackson has more. As the death toll from the deadly wildfires in Maui rises, President Biden preparing to take on a now familiar role of consoler in chief when he travels to the island today to see the devastation. But he's also going to be able to uh, talk with people and hear their stories and provide a sense of hope um, and assurance that the federal government is going to be with them um, as he has directed. The search to find and identify victims continues as does the investigation into what caused the fires. The governor ordering a comprehensive review. We will get to the bottom of exactly how the fire started, how our emergency procedures and protocols need to be strengthened, and how we can prove our defenses to protect us in the future. In the meantime, survivors are grappling with grief. I cannot do anything. We never see nothing. Nothing at all. Ahead of the president's trip, the Biden administration vowing that the federal government will be there to help the island rebuild for as long as it takes. Yet critics say it took too long for the president to publicly acknowledge the deadly fires. But aides say he has been working behind the scenes from the beginning. His visit is not being welcomed by some. We don't need you. Don't come here. Stay out of our way. Get rid of the red tape. An island facing a long road to recovery ahead. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.